Hi, I'm Rodney Johnson, co-editor of Boom and Bust as well as Survive and Prosper. Golf is not my friend. I love walking the course and even the beer cart. It's the game itself I can't stand. Not because I get bored or there isn't enough action, but for the age-old reason that I'm just bad at it. One of the great parts of a casual golf game is that when I do something really stupid, I can ask everyone in my group to allow me a do-over. That's the chance to take my shot again without incurring any penalty strokes. Golfers call this a mulligan. Right now, there are millions of millennials who just joined the labor force in the last six years that want their own mulligan. Not in a game of golf, but in the game of life. Recent employment statistics show that from November 2007 through December 2013, the employment rate for the group under 30 has plummeted. Not only has unemployment remained high, but the number of people not in the labor force is also high. These are people who aren't working or even looking for work. While the total population of 16 to 29 year olds has increased by over 1.5 million, the number of kids in this age group available to work, employed or unemployed, has fallen by over 3 million. That's because record numbers of people report being in school, even though we're not graduating a lot more people. It could be that people of this age are scared off by the fact that unemployment is still over 10% for the young, which means the job market is not a very friendly place to be. And therein lies the problem. Lisa Kahn, a labor economist at Yale, studied the employment experience of men who left college in the recession of the early 80s to find work. Entering the job market during a time of high unemployment, unsurprisingly, these guys had lower earnings at the outset. However, Ms. Kahn followed them through their working lives. She found that 15 to 20 years later, they were still experiencing lower compensation than others with the same work experience who had started during a different point in the economy. Clearly, where you start has a large effect on where you end up. This means that as young people enter the workforce today, the odds are stacked against them in terms of earning more than their parents or having a higher standard of living. The problem is made worse by the fact that those same parents will rely on their kids to make enough money to pay the taxes that are necessary to keep Social Security and Medicare solvent through their retirement years. Looked at in this light, not only do the kids want an employment mulligan, but it would be better for the parents if they let them have one. Unfortunately, there's no way to turn back the clock. Thank you.